Okay, Maya called out. I presume you all know why we're here, so I'll get right to it. This, she tapped the screen, is our target. In order to obtain it, we need someone who can get in and out quickly. Someone who won't leave anyone behind. Someone who... This can only be describing me, Julius thought. Fine, fine, he said, interrupting Maya. If you insist, I'll go. After all, I have the power. Maya stared at her brother, momentarily horrified. It didn't take long, however, for her to come up with a way to torment Julius. Okay, she said, trying to hide her excitement. Go right ahead. Maya handed Julius his instructions. Make sure you follow them. That night, Julius read his first set of instructions. A disguise will be left out for you at midnight. He grabbed the disguise he found outside his house, but couldn't hide his horror when he realized what it was. You will wear the clothes, the instructions read. Humiliated, Julius put on his disguise and boarded the ship that was to take him to his overseas destination, then attempted to remain inconspicuous. Remember, it said in his instructions, no one can know who you are. You must be sure to mind your own business. When you finally arrive, a man will be waiting to give you further instructions. Julius, finally free of his disguise, went to meet the man. He appeared to be selling horses. Julius read his new set of instructions. This man will lend you a horse. Cash, please, the man said. So much for lending it to me, Julius grumbled. You must make a point of examining the horse so it looks like a sale. Julius was beginning to get angry. This is a sale, he muttered, glaring at the horse. He could have at least sold me an attractive horse. You're an ugly beast, aren't you? The horse, annoyed, chomped Julius's hair and began to chew. Furious, Julius screamed and chased after the horse, who took off quickly, leaving Julius in its dust. Wait, Julius shouted after it. I need the drawing in your saddlebag. But the horse never came back. Alone now, Julius walked to his next destination, the Hundred Man Inn. You will spend the night there, his instructions said. Julius sighed, then entered. Room, please. As he passed the front desk, he heard someone laugh. He tried to ignore it until he realized it was directed at him. Hey, man, what happened? Lose to your horse? Ah, so lame. Once there, try and remain inconspicuous, the instructions said. This could be your biggest test of all. Then, when the opportunity arises, sneak out so no one notices you. Julius pounded his fists on the table. I'm out of here, he yelled, storming out. Julius headed towards his next destination, a deserted hall where he was to meet a guide who would take him to his final destination. To his surprise, though, his guide turned out to be all too familiar. Maya, what are you doing here? I'm your guide, she beamed. Of course you are. The two of them entered a poorly hidden top-secret government library. There it is, Maya said. Somewhere in this building is the document we're looking for. When that guard's not paying attention, we can sneak past him to get into the secret room. All right, let's go. Maya began to crawl past the guard, but Julius didn't even try to hide. Get down, you idiot, she cried. Why? This guy's fast asleep, Julius said. He gave in and followed Maya. Once they were in the room, it didn't take them long to find what they were looking for. A bookshelf full of top-secret government documents. They looked for the topic of their choice and soon found it. A document titled, How to Achieve World Peace in Three Easy Steps. Julius grabbed the document and hurried to leave. Hold on, Maya called. It's not quite the end of our mission yet, she said. It's not, Julius asked. No, we still have to get back. Keep a close eye on that document so we don't lose it. I'm not an idiot, Julius said. I, oops. And that's why we didn't study for the test, Maya said. Unfortunately, said Julius, we lost the document. So I'm afraid you'll just have to take our word on it. Their father sighed.